Well, I'm uh, David Fleishman, and I'm uh, playing the part of Herbie in the uh, Curve Theatre's production of Gypsy. And I'm Caroline O'Connor, and I'm joining David uh, in the production of Gypsy, playing Mama Rose. I love that, joining David. This is the star of the show, but she's joining me. Yeah, actually, <laughs> if she was joining me, it would be called Herbie, not Gypsy. <laughs> but, okay, that's good. She's joining me. Let's, yeah. That's a good idea. Here, I'll swap you. <laughs> yeah. Herbie uh, is um, he's a travelling salesman. He sells uh, candy, as the Americans call it, to all the vaudeville theatres along the West Coast, around the West. Uh, and at some point he comes into contact with this formidable lady and uh, he's quite smitten by her. And he reveals to her that not only does he now sell candy, but some years ago he was actually uh, an agent. And that's so he knows the business, he knows vaudeville. And he's manipulated and seduced into becoming her agent, which he takes on her and all her kids. That's her two daughters and the whole troop of other kids that go around and perform in her act. Well, Rose um, has been married a few times before, unsuccessfully, um, and really work, theatre, the stage, her children, everything comes first in her life, um, particularly the, the love of theatre. So when she meets this, this gentleman, I, I think because there's that connection that he's been an agent, that's uh, pretty important to her, and then it becomes something more you know, it becomes quite genuine, and I, and I think that um, it's, be, it's because uh, he, he treats her the way she wants to be treated, that she likes to be around him. And she's quite a strong character, and she, she's very opinionated, and, and he, he does go along with her a lot of the time to keep the peace, I think. But there comes a point when you can only go so far, and then you, you, you want to have some normality in your life. He's a gentle, caring soul. At her beck and call. I love this um, relationship in the show because I think it shows a side of her that's uh, a little more human, you know, that she can have a relationship with someone. And um, as he said about the children, it's quite nice, the interaction with the children is yeah. really w rather wonderful. And he stays with her for quite a long time and, you know, we meet the kids when they're quite small and he's still around as they've grown up into young women. But of course, Mama's trying to keep them as little kids to benefit the act. She won't allow them to grow up. And he's constantly uh, holding a mirror up to her and saying, hey, look, these girls are growing up. Things have got to change. It's amazing to come into this you know, pretty spectacular venue to do the show. It is. It's a magnificent theatre. And the stage is so exciting. I mean, it really is to look at. Have you been on stage but yet? I've been on stage and, and I've the, seen a show on the stage. Oh, it's vast and I can't wait to actually... It's a fantastic performance. It just lends itself to big musicals. It's mm. just a joy. You know, you're never actually looking for space. You've got massive amount of space. You can put as many people on it as you want and you mm. still can't fill it. It's wonderful. Mm. We've got a really beautiful bunch of talented kids, great, haven't we, in the show? Great, like young great performers. Cast. All around. So Fantastic. versatile, you know, like Paul has cast it so brilliantly. He's brilliant at casting. Actually, I feel really bad because when I was talking, when we met in London about the show, I didn't, I mentioned Joel Stein's score and I forgot to mention Stephen Sondheim's extraordinary lyrics. I mean, someone told us the other day that he was only 25, I think, when he wrote these lyrics. It just seems crazy for someone of that age to to have written something like this. It's a masterpiece of, you know, musical theatre. Um, and, yeah, it's it's so clever, you know, as he is. It's You can see, you know, that young talent there. You can see what it was going to become, you know, like this formidable man of the theatre. And I You've just, done a lot of Sondheim, haven't you? I've, I've been doing more recently, but I have done, some, you know, other Sondheims. And... and um, I think this is an incredible combination of the two. I mean, Jill Stein is such an incredible composer and Stephen Sondheim's you know, the lyrics. He's a, a, love, a wonderful composer too, don't get me wrong, but I just think having those two talents together was what made it extraordinary.